Volkswagen are fully going back to their roots. First with the ID Buzz, and today they took us down the memory lane looking through all the cars over the years. And it's all about the people before the actual car itself. Behind us is the new Volkswagen ID2 All, and it's all about being affordable and also looking good as well. So just because you're paying just around £23,000 doesn't mean it has to look horrible. Inside of the car, it has the space of a Golf, but when you look at it, it's got the compact look of the Polo. And it pays a lot of homage to some of the Volkswagen that we've seen over the years. Let's take a look at the design. Starting with the front, we have this long LED lights on the front, which looks really good. We've got the air curtain on the side for aerodynamics. Things look a bit low as well. So the car drops a bit low, which is really nice, makes it look nice and sporty. Obviously, this is not going to end up here. It's going to have your number plate in the future. And you've got the big logo on the front, which resembles that of the ID Buzz as well. Again, refining that design from what they used to look like to what they are now, which I kind of like, I'm digging it. And then moving on to the side, we can see this nice curve here, which leads onto the side of the car, all the way to the back. Looks absolutely fantastic as well. And then on this side, we have a 20 inch alloys. I don't know if that's gonna end up on the final product in 2025, but it looks really good. And I hope that actually ends up there. It's nice and wide, makes it look extra sporty. This swing mirror looks nice and slim. I love the profile of it. And one of my favorite things about this is the fact that you don't get that much bezel on it. It looks really nice and sporty, nice and snazzy. I love the finishing on that. On this side, we have a wide arch on here and there's no black cladding or anything like that. So it looks like they've just carved it out of one sheet of metal, which looks really good. There's no door handle here. It's actually placed on this side of the car. Again, just making it nice and slim and it adds to that drag coefficient as well when it comes to aerodynamics. We have a spoiler here with the black detailing coming around there. And then what's really nice on the back is this long elongated LED lights going on the back, including the Volkswagen logo on there. And then we have that ID to you all uh, that's on there. What do you guys think of the name actually? Let us know in the comments below. And then we, let's pull back a little bit. We've got back windows, uh, window wiper, which I know you electric guys really like on the car. And we'll look at this bottom bit here. It's nice and sculptured, it looks really nice. I love the black finishing on it. And obviously there's no exhaust on here, but they give you that sporty sort of look on the diffuser, which it gets a thumbs up for me. Although this is a concept car, we can't actually open the boot in here, but the boot in there is around 440 liters of space. And then underneath that, there's extra space, which is 50 liters of space that you can store extra luggage in there. So this is nice and spacious, like I said, the space of a Volkswagen Golf, but the compact necks and the compact look of a Volkswagen Polo. Let's take a look at the interior as well. It looks really nice in here and up today. We have a new 12 inch display for the infotainment system and another 10 inch display for the instrument cluster. But what's really cool about here is you can actually customize it to take advantage of the old school, the old heritage of what Volkswagen is all about. So you can change the instrument cluster design. You can modify it to suit your need. What I also love is they've changed, they've actually listened to the people that are driving these cars and changed the buttons on to wind up the window, for example. So the touch area that we usually have, that's gone. We've got buttons now. I love the suspended column in the center as well. It looks really nice. And the new dial for the gear shifter in the middle looks cool as well. So this also changes according to what you change on the actual design in terms of the instrument cluster. When you change that, that also changes as well. So you can see that old school logo that's on there. In terms of things like Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and all that stuff, we don't actually know yet, but I would assume based on previous cars, we're gonna be seeing that in here as well. For those that love the wireless charging, we have two wireless charging mats that's up front that resembles that of the Tesla if you've been in one before, you would notice this straight away. On the back, something's actually interesting here as well. So the back seats actually lift up where you can store your charging cables. This kind of brings me back to the old Volkswagen Beetle, which has the battery underneath the seats in the back. But as far as the interior goes, I kind of like what they've done here. I love the flat bottom steering, which also has those new scroll wheels on there as well. So less touch areas, less capacitive touching, which is really cool. The design on the inside just looks nice and modern, still classic, nice and minimalist, which I really love. The seats looks very comfortable as well. The headrest has something that looks like a speaker grill. I'm not sure what that's going to be in the final version in 2025, but I hope that's actually a speaker grill as well for that immersive experience inside the car. I love the finishing, the material, the stitching. It just looks fantastic. In terms of the battery size, Volkswagen didn't actually say much about the battery size, but what we do know is they claim it would do 450 kilometers on the WLTP, which is around 281 miles. And we're looking at 10 to 80% charge in just 20 minutes. So fast charge is gonna be there as well. For speed, you're looking at 226 horsepower and we do zero to 62 in under seven seconds or around seven seconds roundabouts. But again, when we do take this on the road in 2025, sounds like a long time away, we can actually put that to the test. 
Overall, I think they've done a great job here at bringing that old vibe to the car, whilst refining the design, making it look quite minimalist, very modern, and paying homage to those heritage vehicles that we've known from the past. I love the design, I love the look of this, and I hope some of these designs do make it to the final version that we see on the road. So, that's it for the new Volkswagen ID2 All Concepts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you part away with £23,000 for this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.